This next story, man, this might be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I was in the seventh grade. I came home from church one Sunday afternoon with my family, and I go straight to the bathroom. Had to use the bathroom. While I am in the bathroom, my dad sneaks off to my room, hides in my closet. Just because he wanted to scare me when I went in there. It was innocent, but I don't know he's in my closet. I don't have this information. I go to my room. I shut my door. I walk up to my mirror. I'm checking me out in the mirror. When I was going through puberty. I was checking myself out. Started taking my Sunday school clothes off. And I had a jam box on my dresser. Turned my jam box on. And it was Prince. And he was singing when doves cry. Now I know it might sound weird to some of y'all coming from this accent, but I love me some damn Prince. That guy was good, man. He was awesome. Plus, I'm at the age, I saw the movie Purple Rain in the theater when it came out. I was there. I was on a date. That was the first time I French kissed a girl and touched a titty. That song meant something to me. <laughs> that was a big deal. I love it. So I'm just reliving that moment as I'm taking my clothes off, looking at my own image in the mirror. I'm looking at me. And I'm singing the song to myself, you know, I'm like, dig if you will, a picture. <laughs> you and I engage in a kiss. I swear I'd, 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 I'd. Like, I'm getting into it. I was getting emotional. I sang the whole song like that to myself. Stripping the whole way. I get all the way down to my tidy whities and my black socks like Tom Cruise from Risky Business. If Tom Cruise looked like a 13-year-old horny orphan Annie. <laughs> I was skinnier back then. <laughs> so now, I'm done singing, and I've got my suit on the hanger. You see, I'm a good boy. I'm gonna go hang my suit up in the closet, just like my daddy taught me. Now this whole time in that closet, my poor dad, my poor, poor dad, he has accidentally witnessed this whole thing. He didn't want to see that He didn't know I was going to do all that. He was hoping that I'd forget to hang the suit up. And then he could have left the room after I left the room. Like he felt embarrassed for me. He actually told me later in life, he said, he goes, I'll never forget that Not now. But he can't move because I'm a good boy. I'm gonna go hang my suit up in the closet just like my daddy taught me. And I just, you know, I just walk over that closet. I open the closet doors and he's just standing there. <laughs> but he's had time to prepare for this moment. And so I open the doors and he's looking down and he's got one hand up and he just goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> How long have you been in there? <laughs> this is what it looks like when sons cry. 